Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to our today's class uh, when, when we are going to talk about uh, trend trading. Uh, we talked about uh, trend, uh, mentioned it in a number of previous uh, sessions uh, and highlighted trend as uh, one of the most significant and uh, the most important uh, tools in uh, uh, trading in the market uh, and always uh, repeating the uh, most popular mantra among traders, trend is your friend. So uh, in our uh, lessons, we aim to educate uh, our traders uh, and to work on uh, minimizing uh, risk uh, in order to maximize uh, possibilities uh, for higher profits but under safe under safest uh, conditions and uh, what we said until now was the trend is the safest uh, way to in attempts uh, to make uh, good profits uh, as a market uh, and the, when the price uh, when the market moves in certain direction this gives us less risk as long as we follow this trend and of course it uh, risk uh, risk would increase uh, significantly if we go against the trend so today we are going to elaborate more on recognizing trend, uh, what is trend, recognizing trend uh, and using all the available tools uh, in order to uh, maximize your chances uh, to make profit. Uh, so trend trading is uh, the most uh, safe uh, uh, way of uh, trading uh, in the market uh, as it uh, keeps the risk uh, at the lowest point and uh, uh, increases the uh, possibility of uh, profiting and it's the, the most popular strategy in the markets uh, uh, which uh, gives the, the best uh, uh, results in uh, uh, profit regarding profit uh, and its effectiveness uh, of course uh, within the favorable conditions uh, meaning that uh, once uh, we recognize this trend uh, uh, then we have to use some of other studies uh, uh, to uh, signal uh, its beginning and to signal uh, to get more information about possible potential pardon length and strength of this trend and of course uh, uh, once the signals uh, start coming the trend is close to the end uh, to be able to uh, safely exit our existing position and uh, collect the profit so it's uh, simple from the technical aspect uh, although some uh, traders uh, uh, make it uh, way too complicated uh, for uh, unknown reason uh, when uh, we talk about this uh, further then you will understand that it's not uh, uh, complicated at all and uh, I would uh, dare to say it's user-friendly uh, for uh, uh, beginners as well as uh, for professional traders who can uh, uh, recognize and catch the trend uh, much easier but of course uh, learning uh, new things and uh, practicing is the guarantee that uh, we will succeed in the near future so we're going to talk about uh, how to uh, recognize and uh, employ this trend in our favor so uh, to uh, maximize uh, chances for a profit there is a number of uh, uh, traders that uh, use the trend actually majority uh, of traders uh, we can say they are uh, trend followers so it's the safest it's the uh, most uh, uh, low risk uh, high profit uh, chance to uh, trade in the market uh, and of course uh, despite that I said it's easy it requires a, a serious study of the market before uh, doing any any action in the market uh, then you have to prepare your strategy uh, you have to show that uh, uh, you are determined to do this so uh, it's uh, it needs a uh, high concentration patience as the uh, one of the important points and the discipline uh, which must be strong as the key uh, point in all these things so uh, we spoke about uh, trading discipline uh, in the previous classes and uh, I and I always highlight it as a very important thing uh, so it's important uh, once you uh, decide uh, to uh, start trading or to start studying for trades then you have to have these uh, all these uh, things uh, fulfilled in order to proceed with the market analyzing and uh, recognizing trend and uh, at the end uh, 
entering uh, uh, trades. Uh, the price action is presented on the chart and is driven by series of economic uh, factors, uh, uh, supply, demand that create certain uh, patterns of the chart uh, of the price movements in the chart uh, that are uh, in certain directions called the trend. Uh, it's it's sometimes uh, not clear at the first sight. Uh, for uh, uh, those who are not familiar with technical or fun the fundamental analysis, uh, but uh, to recognize uh, uh, trend as quite simple pattern is uh, uh, not a difficult uh, job, and uh, uh, the trend uh, itself is the reaction uh, to the uh, to the to the to these factors that I mentioned. So we have number of economic factors. Uh, we have uh, uh, stronger uh, or uh, a lower demand, uh, stronger offer or lower offer. So all these factors are important and they actually are the drivers of the uh, price of certain instrument that we choose along uh, with the fundamental factors uh, that are also very important uh, and uh, should not be ignored. Uh, once the trader gets familiar, we're talking about ordinary retail trader or beginner, uh, is how to uh, recognize uh, these patterns, uh, how to control the situation, uh, thinking uh, logically and controlling emotions, which is also uh, very important. Uh, uh, then potential for success becomes almost equal to those uh, professional experienced and experienced traders as they also apply the same uh, rules uh, to trading. So once you uh, learn how to uh, employ and uh, use these rules, then uh, you are becoming uh, approximately the same level of the chances of uh, making profit with the professional experienced traders. So it's not something that is very difficult, but still needs a, a quite serious approach and uh, a number of uh, studies that uh, will be uh, employed in recognizing trend, uh, catching this trend, uh, using the most of the trend uh, uh, chances for making money and then exiting at the end uh, before the trend uh, starts to reverse in order to minimize the risk of uh, getting into red or losses uh, once the trend uh, uh, reverses and we are still in the original direction. So all these things they need to be uh, studied and seriously considered. Uh, so the first step uh, is to recognize the trend. Uh, and uh, if the trader is not aware of trend, it just uh, jumps into market uh, to in thinking that it's easy to make money, that will be sort of gambling. And uh, this is something that we are strongly against. Uh, and uh, finally, the gambling is not the purpose of forest, forex trading. Forex trading is uh, a more uh, uh, to the serious studies, uh, following the uh, news, following uh, uh, economic indicators releases, following technical analysis, all these factors that uh, could be very useful in giving uh, accurate information and uh, uh, that will result in the uh, profitable trades rather than uh, gambling that uh, usually usually uh, ends up with the losses and then uh, trader starts uh, in attempts to recover and the recovering is even worse than losing the money so uh, this is something that we are trying to avoid uh, from the beginning so uh, this is not our aim our aim is to have the trader that is experienced, that is educated, that knows how to control the situation, how to control himself, how to be disciplined and have the rules for trading that are followed at all time. And recognizing the tool, recognizing the trend is one of these important factors that we are going to talk about today. So uh, to identify trend, uh, you need to employ both uh, uh, type, types of analysis, uh, fundamental and technical. Uh, the best uh, results will be given uh, on combination of uh, two methods. Uh, as, uh, for example, technicals will give you good signal for the beginning of the trend, but uh, will not give you the uh, clear signal uh, how this trend is going to last, while fundamentals can help you in that information. So combination of uh, two sources of information will, of course, uh, give the, the most accurate and the most complete result, uh, uh, what is actually our target. So the first thing uh, to do is uh, 
uh, to open the chart and observe uh, various instruments until we find uh, something that is uh, interesting and uh, to determine the, whether the market is uh, uh, trending. So when the market is trending, we have one uninterrupted direction. Of course, it's not a straight line. As we said, market uh, moves in cycles, so we can have series of uh, highs, lows, but uh, the order that these high low, highs and lows are uh, uh, placed uh, gives us a signal uh, whether we are talking about trend, uh, uptrend or bull trend, uh, downtrend or bear trend, or we are talking about uh, sideways mode, uh, neutral mode, uh, range trading, uh, which is not uh, trend. So uh, to define uptrend, is we need to spot series of higher highs and higher lows and uh, on the other side the series of uh, lower highs and lower lows uh, define the downtrend so a simple chart uh, we can see the beginning of this action then we have the first high we highlight it we point it so it will be visible for us then the next uh, move is correction and leaves a low which is higher than the previous low so we have the first uh, high and the uh, first higher low, first peak and first trough. Then the market continues to move higher, reaches new high, which is significantly higher than the previous one, corrects again, uh, leaves the higher low or trough, which is again higher than the previous one, moves further up, leaves another high and a higher low. So this defines a trend. We can put also the trend line as... Uh, something that will mark this trend and uh, we will see trend line will be a quite good indication for us uh, whether the trend is continuing or it's uh, attempting to reverse uh, you know one of the initial signals uh, will be if the market uh, if the price action moves uh, below the price in case of uptrend or above the uh, trend line in case of uh, downtrend so that will be our signal that this trend uh, might not uh, extend that might not last anymore so this is initial signal that something is developing and it's quite a good reason for us to start thinking of exiting uh, the, the the our position as the trend signals that it's over a uh, similar situation just in the opposite direction we have uh, uh, beginning of the uh, trend uh, we have the first high and then we have uh, uh, first low we we highlight it uh, then the corrective action uh, leaves the lower high and then pushes lower to the next low, which is lower than the previous. Uh, another correction, higher, lower high, then uh, next lower, low, lower high, lower low, defines a trend. We can also uh, draw the trend line so we have the clear picture of the downtrend. So the first step is to recognize this trend. It's quite... Uh, 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 clear that it's uh, more safe to stay within trend up or down uh, rather than being uh, stuck in the range trading uh, when uh, you don't know uh, where the market is moving but you're trying to catch small moves and then at the end the market uh, surprises you by uh, defining a fresh direction and it's usually opposite uh, your initial uh, position so it, it becomes a drama it becomes a, a loss which could increase significantly if the trader is not careful enough if the trader is not uh, disciplined if the trader is not using stop loss orders uh, so all these things are uh, moving towards a disastrous scenario that we are trying to avoid so the first thing is uh, uh, trend uh, is your friend and uh, while within the trend while holding a uh, and trading within the trend in the right direction, of course, uh, gives you the biggest opportunity to uh, make profits and at the same time to biggest opportunity to reduce, greatly reduce the risk. Uh, so we define the, the trend as the step uh, number one. As I said previously, uh, some traders uh, say that it's too difficult, it's not. It's uh, quite easy and uh, straightforward. We could, uh, you could have seen on the previous uh, graphs that it's not difficult to recognize it. Uh, later on, we are going to see how to recognize uh, when the, the trend uh, starts uh, by using uh, technical tools. So it's yes, if we say we saw the chart uh, which shows a uh, trend, but how, uh, how do we know that this trend is beginning? So we are not going to enter the trend somewhere here. We're trying to catch as higher 
as possible position in case of downtrend or as lower as possible in case of uptrend. So we need to uh, spot where this trend is uh, beginning. Uh, so we're going to talk about this uh, later on. So as we said previously, systematic uh, approach in, in, is in studying chart uh, should give you a quick and correct result. So we have to be systematic. We have to see uh, all the points uh, to spot to define this trend and uh, by following uh, uh, swing uh, points uh, we can uh, uh, see how the market is moving and in which direction so swing points are uh, these that we highlighted uh, with green so market swings uh, up and down but uh, general direction is down so series of lower uh, lower highs and lower lows on the downtrend or higher highs and higher lows on the uptrend uh, define this trend so once we dis, uh, define the trend, uh, we're going to employ other uh, important tools uh, that will help us uh, to get uh, as much as possible information about uh, the trend uh, that will uh, at the end uh, give us uh, a good trading signal and of course uh, a trade trade uh, with the trend uh, as long as it lasts uh, will uh, be a good signal that we are on the right track uh, for making significant profits. Uh, every time uh, you enter the trade you have to uh, place the stop loss. This is uh, uh, one of the key points in the trading strategy. So you secure your position, you secure yourself, your account, uh, because trading without stop market is quite predictable, but at some points could be very unpredictable, especially in case of high volatility or events that are not uh, usual and then in news uh, we have uh, uh, nowadays we have a brexit as the key story for british pound and the uh, very high volatility on news coming uh, sometimes conflicting sending pound up and down so it's quite dangerous once you employ uh, the strategy and you put stop loss then you are safe you can uh, uh, decide on the percentage uh, of loss that should be considered uh, and then uh, you are more relaxed once the trend uh, starts moving and you you start uh, being in profit then you can keep adjusting uh, your stop order in order to uh, increase uh, your profits and minimize losses and once uh, you become fully profitable then uh, you will be just uh, uh, decreasing uh, uh, you'll be just decreasing your profit by certain percentage of stop loss until you uh, exit your position. So important thing is uh, to have, as we said, uh, uh, determination to trading, uh, a strong discipline, uh, system, systematic approach, uh, and the combination of both technical and fundamental analysis that uh, will give us uh, the best uh, result. So from one side, technical analysis, uh, we spoke in previous classes about a uh, number of tools of technical analysis and uh, we saw how they work and uh, what kind of information they give us. Uh, so they can give us a good signal of the beginning of a trend, but uh, we can lack the details, uh, more details about uh, the length and strength of the trend. Uh, so technical tools uh, will uh, give us signal uh, for entry and exit point in the market, uh, but uh, will not uh, point us uh, uh, to the uh, to the entry and exit points to the length or strength of the market. So there are plenty of things that we need to consider to have complete uh, picture. So uh, gives us technical technical. Analysis give us uh, simply information when or how to trade. So when the trend is uh, beginning and uh, how we are going to and when we're going to enter the market at the best uh, point. Uh, on the other side, fundamental analysis uh, can give us more information of the strength and length of the trend, as we said, uh, and. Uh, it's helpful in defining a trend uh, that has uh, long-term potential. Uh, I forgot to say that uh, trend trading is uh, the best uh, uh, tool for the longer-term trading. So once you uh, jumped into longer trend, then you can uh, run for uh, months or years, depending on the length of the trend. Uh, we can see uh, some uh, uh, trends that last for a uh, a number of years uh, and uh, this is uh, quite a uh, uh, good thing for long-term traders uh, 
as you simply enter the position and just keep uh, watching the market and adjusting your stops accordingly so at a certain after a certain period of time you just uh, say it's enough and then come and uh, collect your money so a combination of technical and fundamental analysis uh, is the best and uh, will give us the most uh, accurate and most uh, complete information in uh, trading so uh, i suggest that uh, once uh, we decide to trade uh, we need to uh, employ both types of analysis technical and fundamental use them as much as possible to get the uh, complete information and uh, not to get stuck if uh, something happens and we are not uh, aware of this uh, so let's uh, take talk a bit about uh, fundamental analysis uh, they give us uh, uh, signals uh, about uh, length of the and the strength of the trend so once uh, for example there are the very important uh, uh, economic indicators uh, that uh, signal the about the strength of the certain economy so let's say if it comes from United States as the biggest uh, world economy uh, all the uh, important releases uh, now back to the class uh, of economic indicators uh, those that are highlighted in red or with the uh, three bullish heads or with three lines which gives the significant the highest significance are usually the most uh, important and uh, uh, affect the market so uh, we have to uh, take a look at this for example we have uh, technical uh, tools uh, pointing uh, to the upside for example uh, of certain uh, financial instrument that keeps running up let's say uh, daily Ichimoku cloud is uh, uh, thick and it's ascending so it's underpinning the price uh, moving averages are in full bullish configuration momentum is very strong and we have a uh, uh, signal that everything is going well but if this this is just uh, uh, one side of the picture so it's just technical view now what happens in case we are talking about uh, uh, release of GDP let's say of United States uh, or uh, jobs data that show significant uh, uh, drop in the jobs uh, let's say non farm payrolls for the month uh, or for the second or third consecutive month uh, uh, drop in uh, wages in average hourly earnings which is one of the also very important uh, uh, factors uh, that uh, needs to be watched uh, meaning that something is going on uh, wrongly with the economy or let's say GDP drops significantly uh, below the expectation and below the previous one so these are the negative signals and the market will react immediately on uh, such signals uh, uh, so if we are not aware of this then we'll have problem because all our technicals are pointing uh, to the upside but uh, fundamentals are negative so we have to have complete information uh, in order to protect ourselves maybe the market uh, will just uh, adjust after this news as uh, market tends to hold in the certain direction for as long as possible time uh, until it gets exhausted uh, could be interrupted by some uh, uh, important events but uh, usually uh, events uh, do not give a longer lasting results unless there is something uh, very important uh, we can uh, remember let's say uh, during the gulf war uh, with uh, us and iraq when the oil price shoot up like uh, uh, very fast because of uh, fears in the market that uh, uh, war is going to reduce Iraq is one of the top oil exporters so it's not just going to hit Iraq it might hit the whole region which is uh, oil rich and the most uh, uh, the biggest uh, production producers of oil come from the Middle East uh, from the Gulf region so uh, there are several huge risks and these fundamentals uh, pointed uh, to the upside strongly and uh, it resulted actually in the strong rally of uh, oil price while it could have uh, been that uh, the prices were low at that time and tending to move even lower and technicals were pointing so uh, this is uh, I'm trying to explain how you should uh, uh, consider from both sides information in order to get uh, 
the complete picture and not to be surprised by something uh, that happens uh, and uh, uh, changes the market uh, direction. So, employing uh, both uh, uh, <coughs> both uh, types of analysis it gives us uh, the most accurate and the complete uh, uh, picture. So, uh, once we recognize the trend, uh, then we employ these uh, uh, tools, uh, technical and fundamental, to get uh, more information, uh, the most possible information, actually, uh, that could help us. Uh, so, let's uh, take a look at the live chart before we do this. Uh, uh, we also have to uh, uh, be aware of uh, signals. Technical tools uh, uh, are uh, able to recognize trends, but uh, this needs confirmation. So, uh, be aware that there are also a number of false signals. So, uh, we need to uh, first uh, be sure that this uh, trend signal is valid. So, if there is one break above significant resistance, for example, doesn't mean that the market 100% will continue in that direction. We need another confirmation that will give us a, a clear picture that the trend is uh, continuing. So, in this uh, graph, we can see uh, the types of trends, uh, uh, just as, uh, as an illustration. So, we have a rally, which is uptrend. Then we have consolidation, which is range or sideways trend. So, this is what we we're talking about. Uh, the price is moving up and down, but without a clear direction. Direction is sideways, but uh, not uh, up or down. Then the trend continues again higher. So, uh, basically, uh, signals uh, uh, for continuation come. Let's say there is a range here and we can draw the line on the tops of this range. Once the fresh action uh, breaks this line, if the, if the line is here and the price hits and goes down, meaning that this uh, consolidation will continue. But once the price breaks above, uh, that means that uh, trend is continuing higher. And then it uh, hits a new highs and continues again to range without clear direction. Uh, now we can connect uh, the lowest points of this range. We have this line here, and sustained break below this line will signal that trend is reversing. Uh, we also we always have signal uh, once the trend is moving and goes into the consolidative mode, like here on here, that something might be developing. Could be either uh, consolidation because every action. Uh, requires a reaction. So, reaction could be mild, could be just consolidation, depending on the strength of the trend. So, if there is a strong uptrend, then the most likely the price will uh, adjust quickly. Uh, some uh, traders will uh, book some profits, but without significant uh, pullback in case of an uptrend. And then it will continue as uh, uh, there is strong momentum that keeps this price going higher. Uh, on all favorable conditions, so uh, trend is uninterrupted and will continue higher. But once this trend sh starts showing you uh, signals of uh, uh, losing traction, then it will be the problem uh, to uh, spot uh, the change of the trend and act accordingly, uh, meaning that you need to uh, either uh, uh, higher your stop or simply you just exit your position with the profit and uh, uh, wait for the next opportunity to re-enter the market. Uh, now, in the live chart, uh, uh, we can see it, how it looks. So, we have a strong downtrend which lasted uh, for a few uh, months from October 2018 until this, so two months uh, downtrend. Uh, this is WTI US uh, Sweet Crude Oil. And then uh, the price action bottomed uh, uh, here, which is around 42.36, is the lowest, and then recovery starts. Uh, at the beginning, it looks like just correction because we have quite a strong uh, downtrend, and it looked like uh, correction. Uh, then we uh, draw the line uh, connecting uh, to highest uh, the, because the market hit this level and then went down. Then we had another break and then back down. So, meaning that this is full, false break. So, we should not uh, uh, consider this as a trend change or a reversal until we have clear uh, signal. Clear signal comes uh, from a, a sustained break above this uh, line. So, meaning that the trend has reversed. 
Now, what we can do? We can now measure the uh, length of this uh, recovery. Uh, this level here, the trend line, and uh, you can see it's 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of entire move lower. So this is our important uh, point here. Uh, we spoke about Fibonacci levels in one of the previous uh, uh, sessions and uh, pointed to important 38.2 and 61.8% uh, percent Fibonacci retracement levels that are uh, uh, sort of pivotal barriers and the break of these levels uh, on either direction will give us a strong signal. So we have a signal on break above this line and then we have a signal on break above Fibonacci 38.2% and then market uh, continued higher so uh, we have we had quite good signal trend is still alive trend is still uh, intact and uh, could extend higher so let's see how it looks on the ichimoku uh, and on the daily study daily chart with the ichimoku studies we can see that daily cloud uh, twisted here and started going up uh, uh, ascending cloud it's quite thick and continues to underpin this action daily tenkan sen and daily kijun sen line are lines are both ascending now initial signal is that kijun sen is uh, on the sideways mode so we may expect some uh, correction but uh, so far uh, no uh, serious signals of trend changing let's take a look at other set of uh, technical indicators uh, moving averages uh, moved in the full uh, bullish configuration uh, important uh, was break above this red line 200 days simple moving average uh, and now it's formation of another uh, uh, bull cross there was initial uh, golden cross so-called golden cross uh, uh, breach of uh, 10 days moving average above 200 days moving average now 20 days uh, moving average is approaching in attempt to uh, form another golden cross so this is a supportive uh, point now we have to see uh, momentum is uh, quite strong bullish momentum and uh, this is supportive uh, what uh, worries us in this case is this overbought uh, slow stochastic and overbought rsi and also on slow stochastic we have uh, a bearish divergence if we draw the line in the recent movement so the price is still trending up and the line is aligned towards the upside while uh, the trend line drawn on the tops of the uh, slow stochastic is pointing to the downside so it's diverging from this so this is our signal that uh, market will correct no uh, still no sp uh, space uh, for uh, worries uh, this could be just a correction as the market moves in cycles so uh, peak trough, peak trough, peak trough. We reached one peak uh, and uh, we are looking for corrective action, price adjustment, uh, profit taking before the markets uh, markets continue higher. So now we can define uh, by using technical analysis uh, how deep this could go. So we have 10 days uh, moving average as quite uh, reasonable support uh, and this is our first support. Uh, the next uh, very important is 200 days moving average which is now uh, in attempts to form bull cross with 20 days moving average so uh, this is our support uh, where we should consider either exiting position or be very careful if the if the line is broken meaning that the correction will be deeper from the fundamental side we have to uh, see what are the factors that support what are the factors that are against we're talking about uh, crude oil so supportive factors OPEC plus uh, group which means uh, OPEC cartel uh, boosted by Russia and some other big uh, oil producers uh, decided last year to uh, start uh, reducing their uh, oil production uh, uh, by initially 500,000 barrels per day then they moved to 1 million 200,000 barrels per day in order to tighten the oil market which was uh, threatened by global oversupply. Oversupply means that there is uh, too much uh, oil in the market and the price will go lower. And uh, this uh, uh, was a result when the price dropped back to $42. So we had a big cycle from uh, uh, middle 2017 to middle 2000. 
18, and then the price significantly dropped, especially uh, basically mainly based on these fears that there will be a strong uh, uh, oversupply in the market and uh, huge uh, amounts of oil in the market that cannot be used uh, uh, drops the price significantly. So the first uh, first uh, supportive and strong supportive factor is uh, reduction of uh, global output uh, uh, imposed by leaders in the oil supply in the world. Second important uh, factor was uh, uh, were sanctions on uh, Uni or from United States on uh, Iran and Venezuela. Uh, these are two uh, big oil exporters and uh, that when they are out of the market that means that uh, supply will be reduced and it will, it will be greatly reduced. So this is another factor that, that uh, uh, pushes the price higher as uh, uh, compared to the oversupply when there is too much uh, good in the market, uh, uh, lower uh, levels than required, not than expected, than required, means that the price will go higher. So this is a, a simple action and reaction on supply and demand. So oil price is uh, well supported by uh, these two factors and there is also strong commitment among the OPEC members that they will uh, stick to this uh, policy and uh, in May they have a meeting uh, e regarding this and then they will announce whether they are going to continue for the rest of the year or they are going to pause. Uh, most likely that uh, they will uh, stick to this as uh, their main target is to bring oil price back to approximately $80 uh, per barrel which is uh, a sort of uh, which is profitable for them. Because if you remember the previous uh, movements of the oil, when the oil price dropped significantly, this was the initial drop in 2008 when the when the crisis, uh, global crisis emerged and then the price managed to recover and then dropped even lower to uh, $26 per barrel. A number of uh, uh, oil uh, uh, companies uh, were bankrupt so simply they couldn't uh, stand. The biggest companies uh, stayed operational as their uh, lower threshold was around $15 uh, per barrel. So uh, in order to stay alive, to stay above the water, they needed the price to stay above 26 but this is just uh, survival. So it's not something that makes profit. So uh, big oil producers uh, uh, decided to tighten the oil market as they supply the oil market, uh, the global oil market so they can do it and they push the price higher. Uh, from the other side we had uh, comments uh, twice from uh, US President Trump who criticized, criticized heavily OPEC for too high oil prices. They don't want, uh, uh, American President said that we don't want uh, so high prices so you should consider pushing it lower. A reaction on the market uh, from the market on these comments uh, was uh, short-lived on both times as uh, uh, prevailing sentiment was positive. So the uptrend uh, remained intact and unchanged uh, with the, all these uh, corrective actions being uh, <clears throat> uh, within the trend, the limits and uh, not obstructing the trend at all at any time. So we had uh, quite uh, uh, strong uh, uh, factors that were uh, working for the price, supporting the price and the factors that uh, push the price lower. Uh, the best, uh, the latest sample was uh, uh, fall in the, uh, pardon, increase in the oil uh, uh, US uh, crude uh, stocks uh, report that was released uh, on Wednesday showed that uh, uh, US crude inventories rose by 7 million barrels so this is stock that America keeps and uh, they uh, they release on a, a weekly basis uh, a situation in the stock inventories so uh, initial forecast was uh, for increase of 2.2 million barrels uh, compared to the previous week's increase of 7.2 million barrels when the price was also slightly lower after this uh, this week it came 7.7.02 now we have two things that uh, uh, are affecting oil market is the uh, negative uh, signal from uh, uh, oil inventories that rose, meaning automatically pushing the price lower. We have overbought conditions on technical side. We have uh, this uh, bearish divergence uh, on the slow stochastic. 
so we have signals that the price may correct. Uh, in addition, uh, talk when, as we spoke about candlestick patterns last uh, in the last uh, class, we have two uh, doji candles in past two days. Uh, doji usually signals uh, strong indecision, so uh, stronger indecision is marked by more dojis, and uh, usually if there are three or four, then it, it's likely to signal that the market is exhausted and most likely it's going to reverse. For now, we have signaled that uh, market is on way to correct. We still don't have uh, uh, firmer signals uh, which are appearing now as RSI is attempting to emerge from overbought territory as well as slow stochastic. Uh, moving averages are still pointing higher so it's still risk of uh, uh, narrow consolidation for another two three days before the market shoots up because overall general trend is still up. So anything uh, going against trend would be quite risky and uh, would be considered as sort of gambling. So we're trying to avoid. So we are looking for uh, corrective action uh, uh, based uh, mainly on technical uh, signals. So uh, once these uh, signals uh, became valid and strong, then the price most likely will correct lower. But uh, at, the, at the moment, uh, since there is uh, no significant uh, uh, technical, uh, the fundamental uh, uh, points that could affect uh, the price action, we expect this correction to be uh, shallow, uh, maybe to 10, uh, 10 days simple moving average, possibly extension down to 200, but not below before it continues. Now, another thing that is important and we have to consider is a recent trade uh, conflict uh, between uh, US and China, which is now threatening to split uh, uh, further and to, as uh, President Trump uh, uh, in past uh, in past few days uh, highlighted that uh, they are working on plan to impose some tariffs on the uh, goods important from European Union, which is a new a moment now, but uh, in any case, it could destabilize market if this conflict uh, 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 extends and uh, becomes uh, uh, turns into trade war when the both sides uh, will be imposing high tariffs on the goods uh, imported from the other side. That will be a signal for uh, actually, I can say it will be disastrous scenario. Uh, the first attempts. Uh, uh, to impose the start, to impose uh, tariffs uh, resulted in panic in the market, uh, but uh, uh, leaders of two countries met several times and managed to uh, calm the situation down by uh, making some important decisions uh, that uh, sidelined immediate risk for a deepening crisis, and the market uh, reacted positively on this. But this also should be considered as uh, a deepening of the crisis uh, regarding the trade conflict between uh, two biggest uh, economies in the world could, of course, affect the oil market as uh, a crisis in the economy uh, will mean that uh, less spending and uh, less uh, driving, less demand for oil, uh, lower production in the industry, which depends on the uh, these oil components. Uh, so everything that will work uh, uh, against oil price and will push the price lower. So far, these signals are not existing yet. Uh, it, they should be considered as uh, the talks continue, but uh, there is no negative uh, signals of that strength that could uh, more significantly affect the market. So we are looking for the existing uh, uh, points that are important and that uh, uh, could have uh, impact on the market. So uh, we have uh, technicals uh, uh, strongly supporting and uh, uh, signaling uh, some overextended conditions which suggest uh, corrective action. Fundamentals are positive. Again, uh, uh, increase of uh, US crude oil stocks suggests that the price uh, may take a breather and adjust uh, before continuing higher. Overall trend is still up and still strong, so we have good signals that this trend could extend further. And now when we take a look, uh, uh, if we use Fibonacci levels, for example, we had the break above 61.8% uh, retracement uh, and uh, twice it uh, uh, closed, uh, by, pardon, three times it closed above. So this acts for us as a first uh, good support. So this is positive signal which could result in extension up towards uh, 68.73, which marks 76.4% uh, 
Fibonacci retracement. Uh, and also important to mention that uh, price action uh, uh, and penetrated the weekly cloud and uh, this was also acting as strong resistance uh, we can see that cloud is uh, quite thick but the cloud is uh, twisting uh, next uh, week so uh, usually thinner cloud that is uh, narrowing and uh, turning uh, changing direction is uh, usually magnetic uh, for the price so it could attract uh, this uh, cloud twist could attract uh, a further upside action so we have quite good signals that this trend uh, uh, may extend uh, further up as uh, both technical and fundamentals technicals and fundamentals are pointing higher with some uh, minor corrective actions expected uh, before the trend uh, resumes so all together gives us uh, complete information uh, actually very very good information about uh, trend we recognize the trend uh, we spotted the price uh, we didn't mention uh, let's uh, just quickly talk about uh, uh, when the trend starts uh, there is formation of the uh, doji reversal pattern we spoke about uh, candlestick patterns in the previous class so this is a textbook uh, a doji reversal pattern uh, when we had one uh, long uh, uh, bearish candle in extension of the existing downtrend then we had the long leg doji which signaled very strong indecision on both directions and the next uh, action was strongly up which uh, correct uh, cre created this long uh, a bullish candle and the three candles uh, uh, is uh, complete these three candles completed the reversal pattern so we had initial uh, uh, signal uh, for uh, uh, re initial reversal signal if we wanted uh, more than the, we uh, draw this line uh, from the previous uh, uh, highest uh, points and the sustained break above them and then break above fibonacci level uh, gives us confirmation so for those uh, textbook traders uh, uh, signals of uh, beginning of a trend in the opposite direction to changing the trend from downtrend to uptrend was uh, very clear and uh, signaled so uh, we had uh, enough time and space to enter the market in the new direction and uh, try to catch as much as possible of this uptrend uh, in order to uh, make uh, good trades and also to practice uh, uh, our skills in analyzing market so i tried today to give you as much as possible information uh, uh, if it was some confuse uh, i do apologize but uh, i think i mentioned all important things uh, so i gave you the way how uh, how to think and how to analyze the market it's not problem if you put uh, on the paper all these uh, uh, points and then check one by one to see to get as much as possible signals uh, that will help you in making the final uh, decision